A lot of people want to debate whether or not feeding your animal a raw diet or a kibble diet is better. Start by saying, did you realize that the EPA and the FDA has done studies on phenobarbital? Now, if you don't know what that is, that is a drug that is used to not only sedate, but to euthanize animals has been found in dry dog food. Dry dog food. I mean, I ask the most obvious question, how is it actually getting into the dog food, right? Like, why is phenobarbital finding its way into my dog's dog food? Like, I'm buying dog food because I love my dog and I want it to be healthy. So why in the heck did somebody put medication in it that I only could sedate my dog, but kill it? Well, it's a very simple question, and it's a very simple answer. The FDA and the EPA found out, folks, was a lot of times when they say they're using beef byproducts, they're actually using a horse. The process, they had to kill the horse to render it for its fat, its carbohydrates, or its meat. The really crazy thing is that phenobarbital is one of those drugs that will actually survive and not break down during the rendering process. You know what rendering means. That simply means the breaking down of the fat, the carbohydrates, and or the meat into like a gluey substance that they can then squish all together with all these grains and all these fake vitamins and then dry it and then pellet it and then high heat it where there's no vitamins left and then feed it to your dog. So I know what you're gonna say. Sam, I can't afford to feed my dog. I would actually have to agree with you. I have two large breed dogs. One is a German Shepherd, one is a Dogo Argentina. Combined weight on my two boys is over 200. You throw in Atlas and now we're sitting at 230 pounds of dog that would need to be fed with somewhere upwards of 11 pounds of raw meat a day if I went with the traditional barf How diet. do I feed my dogs and afford to feed them I well? Do a mix, folks. I do my own version of barf. First thing I did was start raising rabbits. Yep, you heard me right. Yes, my dogs eat fuzzy rabbits at least twice a week. There's not enough fat on a rabbit to feed them consistently, but I dispatch the rabbit and then give the entire rabbit to the dog, fur and all, guts and all, and they eat also it. also raise chickens. So when I get an overabundance of eggs, including the shell, that goes into their meal. And all the roosters that, well, I don't need more I than two. those animals organically and healthy without any kind of growth hormones, antibiotics, or viral medications. So I know that my dogs are getting organic meat when they eat what I grow here on my small farm supplement. I do occasionally feed kibble, guys. I mean, come on. 237 pounds of dog is a lot of dog to feed every single day. A raw also, diet. I learn to use herbal medications like pumpkin seeds. I grind them up and I feed them to my dogs, which I grow pumpkins. So again, they're organic. And I feed them to my dogs to worm them for tapeworms. You can also grind up watermelon seeds and feed that to your dogs and your cats for You can worms. also grind up a numerous different herbs and vegetables to add into your barf diet or even on top of your kibble to give your dog a boost of natural vitamins and antioxidants. Also go to your local slaughterhouse and ask them for something called bone dust. That's what's left over when they're cutting all the parts of the cow and the pig and everything else that they're doing. They have this big pile of like shaved bone, ligaments, carbohydrates, and meat, and you can go pick it up for next to nothing, like 12 pounds for like four bucks. If you live in a rural area like I do, or you have a salvage store near you, you can do the five for 20 packs of meat. Now, I don't think that grade of meat is great for humans, but hey, I get being broke in this Biden-Harris economy. It sucks. But you can do the five for 20 and that'll also help reduce the amount of money it costs you to feed a better diet to your dog. you've got cats, trust me when I tell you, cats really like rabbit meat. Also, my daughter's cat gets the tuna with the oil and raw eggs in his dry diet. And his coat is so silky. My point. Look fluffy. at that fluffy, silky coat. He's still a baby, so it is kitten hair, but it is really shiny. It is shiny. It's the Dogo Argentina, and trust me, folks, want to tell you that he would need six and a half pounds of raw meat and bone every single day if I did a traditional bath. help those that are caught in this debate about whether or not you should feed kibble or you should feed barf, you could do it like we do and feed what you can, but any deviation from a dry dog food or a dry cat food is going to help your pet. Let me give you one more bit of advice. Feeding the exact same dry dog food or dry cat food their entire life 
could end up with you accidentally giving your animal something called vitamin toxicity like this. There has been so many recalls over the years for things like vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin A, and dog and cat foods. Now this can be deadly to your animal, just like if your animal got hold to feed that had feed and volatile in it. So trust me when I tell you, if you're going to feed your pets just plain old kibble, change it up occasionally, guys. I mean, I'm talking completely different company, brand, size. Um, if you've been doing turkey their whole life, put it on beef. And the reason I'm telling you that is that so your animal gets a chance to flush out the fake amounts of vitamins that they put in the kibble because vitamin toxicity could reduce the life of your animal. Guys, when I was young, it was not uncommon for someone to get a pet in kindergarten, graduate high school, and the same pet is alive. They go off to college and then the dog dies, right? You're talking 12 to 14 years of a good life with never seeing a vet. Don't tell me times have changed so much in the past 30 years that now people's pets don't make it past eight years. Look, we all need our pets. We all love our pets. They help us get through this thing called life. So why not give your pet the best life? I know so many educated people that would never consider ever feeding their dog anything than the exact same kibble they fed on their whole life. Come on now. You're out there buying organic vegetables for you and your family and you'll put your dog on kibble? Shame, shame, shame. An update on Hammer. He does go see LSU Veterinarian School Wednesday of this coming week. He was supposed to see them Thursday of last week, but due to Hurricane, oh, I can't even remember this hurricane saying, oh, Francine, that wasn't much of anything. He rescheduled his appointment. To the ones of you that have sent your dollars to help us pay for that, we appreciate it so much because yes, he is having some skin issues, but like I told you guys before, the skin issues are an indicator and a warning sign of something much worse happening to my German Shepherd. What is happening to Hammer is like a neurological or a spinal issue, you guys. He's losing muscle mass in his back right leg. Now, I'm going to be completely and totally honest with y'all. Last year, about the time he started losing his balance, two things happened that I'd never done with him before. It was about a year and a half ago now. I made my own peppermint flea and tick spray without realizing how toxic herbal medications can be for dogs. Within a couple of days of using it, the Holy Spirit really began to warn me and I stopped. Now, could that be what's wrong with him? Yes. And if it's still hanging around, it's never gonna change no matter where I take him. The second thing is somebody shot and killed a large wild boar, which is a feral hog close to me and asked me what I like it for dog food. Against my husband and my father's advice, I said yes. I hung it in my oak tree and I butchered. I used the liver, the kidneys, the heart, and some of its meat. Here recently in the last couple of months, there have been news reports of people in this area along with Mississippi and Alabama that have had a parasite located in the muscle with very similar, yeah, very similar um, medical conditions along to what Hammer is exhibiting. So it could simply be a parasite from that raw wild hog. So if you are going to raw feed, please don't do what I did and feed animals that are wild. You are gonna need to get it from a place where the animals aren't gonna have parasites. Hey, we live and learn. It wasn't like I did it to hurt him. I did it because I love him and I thought it was going to be healthy. The Dogo ate the exact same thing and he is fine. However, German Shepherds are extremely susceptible to parasites. Probably due to all the interbreeding. Who knows? Like, comment, subscribe if you would like to support our channel. You'll find that located below. Love you guys. Have a blessed night.